Cat Dog is an American animated television series that originally aired on Nickelodeon from April 4th, 1998 to June 15th, 2005. With a total of four seasons and 66 episodes, the show follows the unusual life of conjoined twins. One end is a cat named Cat, and the other end is a dog named Dog. In this video, we're going to cover the show from beginning to end in detail. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. In the Nierberg Museum of Really Old Stuff, we see several historic items related to cats which are stored in the Hall of Cats. Among these items is a cat version of Mona Lisa, or should I say Meowna Lisa. Some other items include prehistory cat pawns, a really old thread ball, a litter box with a scoop, and Egyptian pyramids made by cats. This just shows us that in the world of this show, cats are the most dominant species who have made great discoveries and inventions in the world. The dogs, however, didn't really contribute to the world as much. However, there is a painting in the modern world that suggests otherwise. Back in the days of merry old England, there existed another cat-dog hybrid much like the protagonists of this show. The cat was wise and ambitious, while the dog found contentment in scavenging food from the trash. When the king of that era, Rancid, declared an open call to join the royal hounds, the cat saw this as an opportunity for both of them to live a royal life. He begins teaching Dog how to be more fancy and royal, giving him a challenge to catch a mouse named Winslow Oddfellow while balancing a teacup on his head without spilling it. The cat even puts several traps in the way to amp up the challenge, but with quite a lot of luck and determination, Dog manages to win the challenge and even enjoys the tea which he never spilled. The next day, the duo arrives at the palace in a fancy dress, and King Rancid immediately chooses our duo to become the Royal Hound. Cat Dog had finally made it big time. They had everything they wanted. However, when the time of the Royal Hunt arrived, they learned that they themselves were going to be the prey. The duo ran as fast as they could from there, but unfortunately, they were hunted down with their heads on display inside the Royal Palace. Yikes, things did not go very well for them. In a flashback, we see a newborn cat dog adopted by a mother teal sasquatch and father frog with a big nose. Given how their baby was a hybrid, putting on a diaper was a bit of a struggle. Despite this, mom and dad took great care of cat dog. One day, as they were playing with their children, a volcano erupted and the strong winds caused the baby cat dog to be separated from their parents. Despite their best efforts to save their kids, mom and dad were unable to do so. Tragedy struck as the younglings were left all alone to fend for themselves. Mom and dad looked for them all over the world, but strange things kept happening to them. They were frozen in an arctic glacier, marooned on an island of rabid weasels, abducted by aliens, swallowed by a giant lake monster, and even captured by an evil tribe of wood chips. However, they were unable to find Cat Dog anywhere. Meanwhile, Cat Dog, who were taken away by the strong winds, landed in the city and were found by none other than the Mouse Winslow. He found the two rather interesting and started annoying them from that day on, while also taking care of them when needed. At present, it is the big Parents' Day celebration in Nierberg, and Cat and Dog are not allowed in because they don't have any parents. Feeling left out, Dog takes Cat to his theory room, where he makes accurate theories of what happened to their parents. However, Cat dismisses them all, saying their parents left them because they didn't want them. Later, they consult Winslow, who recalls how they were shot out from Old Up and Chuck in Yonderland during that volcano eruption. Since they don't remember any of it, they decided to look for themselves. After a long, hard journey, they arrive at the barren wasteland, where they find their parents, still living in the cave we saw earlier. After a heartfelt reunion, mom and dad explained everything to cat and dog, and the family was finally back together once again. As we've established before, dog is kind of an idiot when compared to cat, which is why he has a habit of chasing down every mailman in the country. However, when dog was just a kid, there used to be a mailman called the paper boy who wouldn't allow himself to be caught by him. In the present, he is so fast at running that no one has ever managed to run away from him. Well, except for that one guy. 
but worry not, cause he got him in the end as well. So cat and dog live in a fish-shaped house with a supporting bone, and the design is, well, pretty self-explanatory. However, their house has a long history whose accuracy depends on whether you want to believe the cat or not. In the year 1 million BC, there were the prehistoric ancestors of cat and dog living in the same house, albeit its Stone Age appearance. When an old ancestor of Rancid Rabbit arrived to make a claim to the house, Dog's discovery of fire scared him off. According to Cat, they were the ones who discovered the fire. Then in 1776, an evil king, another ancestor of Rancid Rabbit, ruled the land, but a revolution was in order. This revolution was of course led by none other than the great-grandparents of Cat and Dog. Because of that, the king arrived to make claim to their house. However, the two resisted the king, and as a result, the Declaration of Independence was signed. Then, in the 60s, when the summer was at its peak, this very house was the hotbed of hippie happenings. As they were partying inside, another ancestor of Rancid Rabbit arrived with the Riot Squad team to confiscate the house. However, when the Beatles arrived at the house on an airplane, the place became etched in history. Okay, so now that we understand some context of the show, let's talk about some important episodes. In the first episode, Dog On, Cat and Dog are playing ball in their front yard when Dog gets distracted by a squirrel and starts chasing it through the trees. Cat ends up with a mouthful of acorns and they decide to go inside for a soda. Winslow, their friend and neighbor, points out how well they work together, but Cat realizes that they don't have enough time for themselves as individuals. The next day, in an attempt to have some alone time, Cat makes Dog wear a cat hind end cosplay, but he soon realizes he misses Dog's company. They reconcile and Dog happily chases the garbage truck with Cat in tow. In All You Can't Eat, Cat and Dog are banned from Taco Depot after Dog's previous attempt to eat all the food left none for the others. Determined to enjoy the all-you-can-eat special, Cat and Dog try various disguises and strategies to enter the restaurant without being recognized. Despite their creative attempts, they face constant rejection from Rancid Rabbit, the manager. Eventually, during one of their daring entries through the ceiling ducts, they inadvertently cause chaos, leading to Rancid's dismissal by Mr. Taco Depot himself. The new manager, Dunglap, promotes Cat Dog to regular customers, allowing them to enjoy tacos whenever they please. In Flea or Die, Cat and Dog head to the beach in hopes of meeting girls. The two encounter two female cats and attempt to impress them, but Dog's excitement to play ball leads to chaos on the beach. As Dog inadvertently brings fleas into their lives, Cat and Dog seek treatment from Rancid Rabbit. Reluctant to take a flea bath due to his fear of water, Cat opts for a flea belt, only to face ridicule from the citizens of Nearburg. Eventually, Cat and Dog opt for the flea bath to rid themselves of the pesky insects. However, the flea belt has become a fashion trend, and the duo is annoyed for not wearing it earlier. In the island, Cat and Dog are headed to the airport for a vacation. However, Cat's distraction with a vacation brochure causes them to miss the airport turn, leading to a bike crash on a traffic island. Stranded in the middle of continuous traffic, Cat and Dog attempt various strategies to escape, including waiting for a crosswalk signal and attempting to contact Winslow for help. Frustrated by their predicament, Cat Dog turns the traffic island into a makeshift paradise using salvaged materials and relying on items thrown by passing motorists. As time passes, they face challenges like a giant street sweeper and endure the effects of hunger and hallucination. Their attempts to escape intensify, ultimately resulting in a comical and unexpected situation where they launch a makeshift boat into traffic. The episode humorously explores the characters' resilience and the absurdity of their predicaments, ending with a twist as they find themselves stuck on a billboard advertising the vacation they were so adamant for. In Cat Dog Pig, Winslow attempts to help Cat Dog make decisions by introducing new members to their conjoined body, forming the comically long name.
Chaos ensues as the extended conjoined entity struggles to find unity and make decisions. Ultimately, they decide to end the madness and agree with each other, but a surprise blimp crash sends the whole entourage flying, concluding the episode with Pig exclaiming, Totally rad! In the episode Escape from the Deep End, a scorching hot day in Nierberg leads the characters to the city pool, where Rancid Rabbit, dressed as a lifeguard, enforces an extensive and absurd set of pool rules. Cat Dog faces the consequences of breaking the rules, and Rancid Rabbit transforms the pool into a prison-like work camp. Cat Dog, along with other characters like Dunlap and Eddie, becomes a prisoner and endures harsh treatment for rule violations. Rancid Rabbit's tyrannical rule extends to changing the rules at his whim, leading Cat Dog to rebel against this oppressive system. Despite the challenges, Cat Dog devises a plan to escape the pool prison, and with Dog's help, they successfully break free, leaving Rancid Rabbit humiliated in the process. However, their newfound freedom is short-lived as they find themselves in a school hallway facing another authoritarian figure, a female version of Rancid Rabbit. Man, their day just keeps getting worse and worse. In New Neighbors, Dog narrates a superhero fantasy where he battles aliens, but the story takes a turn when Dog, dressed as an astronaut, becomes fearful of Cat, who plays the role of an alien. Convinced that aliens are invading, Dog rushes to their house, bringing Cat along. Dog's paranoia is fueled by a comic that mirrors their surroundings. The duo experiences a series of illusions, including being captured by aliens and imagined threat of probing. Despite Cat's skepticism and attempts to reassure Dog, their misadventures intensify as they encounter elderly women mistaken for aliens. In a comedic twist, the seemingly harmless women turn out to have robotic hands and nefarious plans, leaving the episode on a humorous and unexpected note. In Armed and Dangerous, Cat's pen pal Ingrid is visiting town, and Cat is, let's just say, a little bit nervous to see her. Hmm, I wonder why. To avoid embarrassment, he makes Dog wear a disguise to hide his dual nature, stating he only told her that he's a full-fledged cat. Before she arrives, Cat gets his hand stuck in a pickle jar and now has to use Dog's hands because he told her he was a gourmet chef. After a really awkward handshake, they head to the city in a dangerous car ride because, well, Dog can't see and yeah, he's the one driving. Ultimately, they arrive at a fancy restaurant, but the chef there bails out, leaving Cat with the task of being the new chef. He has to demonstrate his skills to the public, but luckily for him, Dog is super efficient with knives. He puts on quite a show under the covers and cooks a delicious meal, impressing Ingrid and the whole audience. Ingrid then asks him to dance with her, but Dog is sick of all the hiding and refuses to help any further. This leads Clifford, the leader of a greaser dog gang, to ask Ingrid for a dance. When she refuses, he challenges Cat to a fight, and Cat, who claims to be a black belt, has to defend his lies. He fights Dog inside the costume, resulting in the destruction of the disguise and the revelation of his cat-dog nature. However, Ingrid had a secret of her own that she was hiding. When she reveals her twin sister, both of them grow fond of Dog, leaving Cat with no one to talk to. In Just Say Cat Dog Sent Ya, Dog's quest for Farberg Burger Bones takes an unexpected turn when he discovers that Rancid has banned them in Nierberg due to financial reasons. Unconcerned at first, Cat becomes intrigued upon witnessing the fervor of local dogs for the coveted bones. Seeing a business opportunity, Cat decides to bring in Farberg Burger Bones undercover by disguising them as a truckload of manure. He establishes a secret speakeasy where dogs can purchase the bones with the secret password, Cat Dog Sent Me. The operation proves successful, with Cat profiting from the high demand of the banned tree. However, Dog of course consumes all the bones, and Winslow enters the scene, starting his own speakeasy and offering the bones at a much lower price, creating competition between the two. In the episode Dog's Strange Condition, the duo finds themselves in a pecan pie eating contest where Dog consumes all the pies, leading to an unexpected consequence. 
Dog starts feeling unwell, developing bumps on his head, and Cat takes him to Dr. Rancid for diagnosis. Dr. Rancid reveals that Dog has pecanitis, an ailment caused by dogs eating pecans with no known cure. As they head home, a pecan tree begins growing out of Dog's head, much to his embarrassment. Winslow suggests turning the situation into a profit by selling tickets for people to laugh at Dog. However, just as Cat is about to showcase the pecan tree to the public, Dog's pecanitis miraculously improves and the tree disappears. The episode concludes with a humorous twist as Cat, determined to capitalize on the pecan tree idea, ends up with the tree growing on his own head after consuming more pecan pies. In Sneezy Dog, Cat is busy finishing a toothpick sculpture when Dog, who has a cold, sneezes, causing Cat Dog to crash into the artwork. Concerned about Dog's health, Cat takes him to see Dr. Rancid for an examination. Rancid diagnoses Dog with allergies and suggests that he might be allergic to Cat. Cat attempts to figure out what the cause of Dog's allergies is, but the true culprit remains elusive. Winslow, observing Dog sneezing, convinces Cat that cleaning Cat's fur is the solution. Cat, however, evades Winslow's attempts to clean him until Dog and Winslow manage to give Cat a bath. Despite their efforts, Dog's allergies worsen, leading Winslow to separate Cat and Dog with a brick wall. Feeling the absence of Cat, Dog becomes emotional and, in a loud sneeze, breaks down the wall. Cat eventually discovers that Dog is allergic to Winslow, prompting them to shave Winslow and alleviate Dog's allergy symptoms. In Surf and Cat Dog, Cat and Dog head to the beach and Cat is initially apprehensive due to the past experiences with elderly beachgoers. To their surprise, the beach is now populated by young people attracted by massive waves perfect for surfing. While Dog is eager to try surfing, Cat, who fears water, refuses. However, a girl persuades Cat to join her in surfing, and when challenged by the greasers, a group claiming to be the best surfers, Cat accepts the surfing competition. Despite his initial reluctance, Cat discovers a passion for surfing and excels in the competition, earning him the title of the beach's king. However, the victory is short-lived as everyone leaves as soon as the waves disappear, ending his fame on a rather comedic note. In Spaced Out, the duo finds themselves stuck in a seemingly never-ending loop of watching the movie Mean Bob in Space Part 12. Despite Dog's enthusiasm for the repetitive viewing, Cat grows tired of the film and attempts to cut the reel with his claws. However, their actions accidentally transport them into the movie itself, where they interfere with Mean Bob's space adventure. Cat inadvertently ejects Mean Bob into a star, altering the movie's storyline. As Cat and Dog navigate the movie world, they encounter Salivian aliens and embark on a mission to rescue Princess Katayan. With humor, adventure, and fourth wall breaking, Cat and Dog navigate the challenges within the movie plot. Ultimately, their new plot leads to the movie's success, with Cat's discomfort and Dog's enthusiasm creating a comedic dynamic. One day, while vacuuming the attic, Dog discovers a mysterious box containing eight bottles. Dog can't resist but to try one, and Cat reveals that they hold his extra lives. However, when Dog accidentally releases the lives, chaos ensues in Nierberg as the cat lives cause mischief and mayhem. Cat Dog builds a machine to recapture the lives, and a series of comedic events unfold as they attempt to corral the mischievous cat lives. The lives wreak havoc across the town, causing trouble with the greaser dogs, stealing from a grocery store, and even disrupting an elderly cat woman's peace. The episode ends in a chase to capture the cat lives and restore order to Nierberg, but a twist awaits as Cat finds himself replaced by Cat Life 9, leaving Dog oblivious to the switch. In Guess Who's Going to Be Dinner, Cat is cooking salmon while Dog is chewing on a bone. Just then, a dragonfly flies in and Dog starts chasing her around the house, causing destruction and ruining the four hours of hard work that Cat put into the dish. Just then, Winslow comes out of his mouse hole and causes even more destruction to further annoy Cat. He then asks Dog why he chases everything, and Dog blames it on instinct. 
Cat then says he as a cat is supposed to eat mice, but he doesn't, meaning one can overcome their natural instincts. Instead of making Dog civilized, he himself starts losing his grip on the whole self-control thing. He plays soothing music to calm his nerves, but pretends that he's only teaching Dog to be civilized. As Dog falls asleep to the music, Cat keeps becoming more and more aggressive, aiming to eat Winslow. To save his life, Winslow has to hide on top of the fan, but Cat finds him and turns it on, sending him flying across the house. Eventually, Dog steps in and makes Cat realize that Winslow is their friend, but when he keeps chasing the mouse due to his natural instincts, Dog cleverly says that he will start chasing Cat due to his own instincts. The two spiral around themselves until Dog assertively tells him to back down, and he agrees. However, when Winslow approaches them, Cat grabs him and quickly swallows him, followed by a sudden spitting out. Cat says Winslow didn't taste good, and then apologizes to Dog for causing so much trouble. But the episode ends with Dog chasing Cat once again, ending the episode in that beautiful full circle. In Cat Dog Squared, after our duo sends out males to invite someone similar to them, Cat and Dog have some unexpected visitors. Another Cat Dog hybrid. However, Dog smells something amiss, but Cat dismisses his concerns and invites them in. The guests make themselves too comfortable, and Dog is still sensing something amiss. When they fall asleep, the guest, Dan and Stan, remove the fake costume they were wearing and reveal their independent bodies. It turns out, these two just wanted to scam our duo with free food and a place to live. At breakfast, they even make claim to Cat Dog's room. Later, while playing ball, they purposely throw it off the hill so they can steal stuff from the house while Cat and Dog fetch it. Luckily, Cat and Dog arrive just in time and the duo cooks a meal for the two. That night, Cat and Dog fall asleep on the couch while Dan and Stan attempt to steal their tug-of-war trophy. Before they can leave, Dog wakes up and challenges Stan to a race. Giving in to his instincts, he chases after Dog until a mishap destroys their costume, revealing that Dan and Stan were a scam all along. The truth is finally out, and Dog is sad that they will always be alone. However, they do find comfort in the fact that they will always have each other. In the episode Sumo Enchanted Evening, Cat Dog visits Rancid Rabbit's rib room for a buffet, where Dog's uncontrollable eating leads to their transformation into overweight figures. Confronted with a staggering bill of $34,000, Cat Dog refuses to pay and is shown Rancid's other employees working off their debts. Unable to fit into their assigned roles, Cat Dog decides to leave without paying, prompting Rancid to challenge them to a sumo match. Despite Rancid's unique tactics, Cat Dog ultimately triumphs, bouncing Rancid back and leaving him flat against a wall. In the episode Rodeo Cat Dog, Cat and Dog find themselves unexpectedly thrust into the wild world of rodeo when they stumble upon a door at a state fair. Unbeknownst to them, Rancid Rabbit plans to turn them into rodeo superstars. Initially hesitant, Cat Dog quickly becomes a sensation in the rodeo arena, showcasing their unique abilities. The Greasers, Cliff, Lube, and Shriek also make an appearance, with the bull tackling Lube in a comical twist. The episode takes a turn when Rancid introduces a formidable opponent, Pointy Horns McGurk, leading Cat Dog to contemplate their retirement from the rodeo. Despite their initial doubts, Cat Dog faces Pointy Horns in an epic rodeo showdown, impressing the crowd with their resilience and unique riding style. However, it turns out that the crowd wanted them to lose, which results in their subsequent firing. As they exit the rodeo, they inadvertently arrive at a different arena with a lion growling at them. You know what they say, there just ain't no rest for the wicked. In Vexed of Kin, Dog is overly excited to learn that his parents are visiting and urges cats to make royal preparations for their arrival. Cat states that mom and dad do not want fancy welcomings and are only visiting to spend some quality time with their children. Just then, the parents arrive and it's evident from mom's reaction that Dog shares her enthusiasm. 
After Dad enters the house, Cat presents him with a contour lounger earning his praise. He also gets his mom a fancy foot massager, getting hugs from her. When Dog, who didn't get them any gifts, gives them his favorite bucket of garbage, they like it even more than the fancy gifts, prompting Winslow to say they like Dog more. Soon after, Mom and Dad start playing with Dog, which first leads to the destruction of their house, and then a chase through the middle of the highway. It's best if you see the destruction for yourself. Their next stop is the zoo, where Cat gets the bad end of the tour. They make their way from the sewers back into the place outside of their house, and after all the chaos Cat went through, he proposes fishing. However, his fishing trip soon turns into a disgusting bug catching lesson by Dad, much to his dismay. Back in the house, he puts on a slideshow of all the things he did, only for Mom and Dad to praise Dog more than him. When they fall asleep during his presentation, Cat becomes sinister and decides to put an end to the favoritism by removing Dog from the picture. He digs a grave in the middle of the night and buries his parents' RV inside, blaming Dog for the incident. Despite not actually doing it, Dog apologizes to his parents, and his dad jumps in to appreciate the honesty. In desperation, Cat reveals that it was he who buried the RV and then tries to run away. However, in the end, Mom and Dad say parents don't have favorites, and they love both of them equally. After they take their leave, Dog says that even though they aren't supposed to have favorites, Cat is still his favorite brother, ending the episode on a sweet note. In the final cat-dog episode, in a meat storage basement, Dog, having devoured all the meat, realizes he's out and urges Cat to buy more. Dog narrates a tale of Johnny Meatseed, a tree grower, but Cat dismisses it as a leprechaun story. The revelation comes through The Meat Channel, where Randolph showcases Smiley's House of Slaughter, a place where animals turn into packaged meat, injecting a sense of horror into Dog. Nightmares plague Dog as imaginary Mervis introduces him to three spirits embodying his favorite meals. The spirits emphasize the message, friends don't eat friends, leaving Dog horrified. Waking up, Dog grapples with the ethical dilemma of consuming friends made of meat, and a trip to the grocery store turns chaotic as Dog refuses to eat fish, considered friends, and is haunted by the repeated phrase from his dream. Fleeing into the wilderness, fruits, vegetables, and even a rock proclaim themselves as Dog's friends, leaving him unable to consume anything. In a desperate attempt to find a solution, Dog barricades himself in the house, prompting Cat to seek help from Johnny Meatseed. In a quirky resolution, Meatseed plants meat trees around Cat Dog's house, allowing Dog to ecstatically harvest meat guilt-free, bringing the series to a beautiful close.